morning. We're in Asakusa and we're going to the Sensoji Temple and the historic shopping districts. This is one of the oldest places in Tokyo. Inside the Sensoji Temple is Nakamisa Dori. This shopping street is lined with souvenir and snack stalls and it's been around for centuries. selling traditional Japanese arts and crafts like this one selling traditional woodblock prints. One souvenir I was really interested in searching out was a kimono, and this is a great area to look for a souvenir kimono or yukata. This shop in particular had a good selection with nicer quality fabrics, and the shopkeeper was so nice. She led me through the back streets to her second shop to look at even more goodies. shopping area is the Sensoji Temple, a famous Buddhist temple. It's the oldest temple in Tokyo. Sensoji Temple is get your fortune. You shake this metal box until a stick with a number comes out. The number corresponds to one of the little drawers and inside is your fortune. Fortune. I have to. Uh, I have to get rid of it. we sped over to Akihabara, the otaku center of Tokyo. A nerdy trip to Tokyo would not be complete without a visit to Akihabara. For lunch, I made a reservation at the Electric Town exit branch of Maid Dreamin', a well-known maid cafe chain with seven locations in Akihabara alone. Where to find a maid cafe? Ask a maid, of course! the Make Cafe there is a no photography rule. But I was allowed to get photos of our meal which included an official photo with our maid too.
after lunch, it was time for some shopping! Our first stop was Akiba's Sob Map No. 1, one of the many multi-floor department stores chock full of anime, idol, and video game goods. time for some gachapon. And in Akihabara, there are stores dedicated to just these coin-operated machines. is another anime-centric store, stocking mostly small character goods. It's a great place to find an affordable souvenir with your favorite character on it. open anime plaza building, we found a great cube store. Cube stores are consignment stores where collectors rent out the cubes to show off their collections to entice buyers to purchase their second-hand contents. It's a great way to buy merchandise for older, hard-to-find shows at a more affordable price. Stop in Akihabara was Don Quixote, home of discount shopping and idol supergroup AKB48. There's a Disney connection here too! AKB48 performs the Sugar Rush theme song from Wreck-It Ralph. to Japan should consider bringing their passport to take advantage of tax-free shopping. We're trying to go to Genki Sushi again because it was way too full yesterday and we didn't bother waiting. But now we're on the list and there's only one person ahead of us, so it's probably not going to be long. Genki Sushi is a conveyor belt sushi restaurant with a twist. You order your choices off a touchscreen. Then the food comes on a conveyor belt straight to your table.
really cool feature of this restaurant is you can play rock, paper, scissors with your screen for a chance at a prize. But we lost. And lost. And lost. And lost. But we had a delicious and very affordable meal. So we just finished dinner and now we are going to do a little bit of shopping in Shibuya before we go pack everything, which is going to be a, a nightmare actually, but that's okay. We're going to do it. 